Hello all, it's your boy Wow Much Justin here with the much anticipated Halo Master Chief Collection PC port explanation video. Wow, that is a mouthful. Anyways, I'll be going over all the hints that the Microsoft team members and various other sources have left for us. So stay tuned. Mario. agree or you may disagree with what I have to say regarding MCC or Halo in general's PC expectancy. This is just my interpretation and there are tons of classic Halo players like me who have hoped and wished for years that this fantasy could and would soon become a reality. This may or may not happen however but as a multi-platform gamer like all of you I can only hope for the best. As you all know, Halo Combat Evolved was ported to PC in 2003, that's two years after the original Xbox's 2001 debut of the game. This PC version came with slightly better graphics, a fully functional online multiplayer, and a closer FOV, which you'll see in the gameplay that I have. Some of the gameplay will have a closer and some will have a, f a farther FOV, and that's because I have a mod that can change it, uh, as well as various other tweaks regarding shaders and ambient effects. This multiplayer option is what had people hooked and still has people hooked to this day. You can find a server for Halo PC or Custom Edition a lot easier than finding a match on MCC on the Expo, which is pathetic in my opinion and 343 Industries should feel bad. Anyhow, until 2007 there wasn't really any other Halo releases for the PC. In 2007 we saw the addition of Halo 2 to the PC market as well as Halo 3 to the Xbox 360. Uh, this release on this Halo 2 release on PC was released only for PCs running Windows Vista and subsequently the newer operating systems. This port also had a variety of additions and tweaks. These included a fully functional developer's tool-esque map creator, which I personally believe is a precursor to the Forge mode, um, and an integration to the Xbox Live through Games for Windows Live, a low app that Microsoft has for PC, um, which includes achievements and gamer tags. <laughs> and not to mention PC exclusive maps. However, since then PC gamers haven't really gotten anything out of Halo. There was still a huge move there's there was still was and is a huge movement to port Halo 3 to PC, which I am all for. But nothing has really been granted to those people who want that. Now, you fast forward to 2013, this is when a lot of the small subtle hints emerged. In the files for the Steam database app, a file was named Halo 3. And there were also other, you know, Xbox exclusives, but we're focusing on Halo. However, this was debunked when people realized that the information on the Steam database app hadn't been updated in quite a while. Another hint that emerged in 2013, however, was that in the AMD driver build, a file was uncovered that was named Halo3.exe, which that drove the fans absolutely bonkers. Because when you think of AMD drivers and stuff, you think of PC gaming. This was also proven to be false, as the Xbox One uses an AMD processor. And when you put two and two together, you find out that this was merely a test for the Xbox One's capabilities pre-launch. Those were the major events of 2013 that hinted to a Halo PC release. However, 2014 wasn't quite as active. It was very quiet. Bar the release of Spartan Assault, I believe, is the one that came out in uh, 2014. <laughs> now, jump to 2015. Uh, this is the year that gave a whole lot of hope to PC gamers due to Microsoft's release of Windows 10 and their efforts to integrate all their products together. 2015 was also a big year because of the release of Halo Online, which you can see a little bit of gameplay in the background of this video. This just proves that Halo games are compatible with PC, and really, do you, do you honestly believe that Microsoft took the time and effort to port Halo 3's engine to PC for a measly pay-to-win Russian port? Microsoft claimed they did it because they wanted to explore the European market, but I assure you there is an underlying reason. That, and that is that they're testing the waters for a compatibility with PC and reception among the PC community. 2016 is the year that honestly gave the community the most hope and just further teased our taste buds with the sensation of Halo on PC. Phil Spencer, the head of the Xbox division at Microsoft, said, in paraphrase mind you, that he is looking to be able to merge Windows 10 and Xbox platforms together with the coming ability to purchase Xbox games and gain a free copy for PC as well. Which, if that isn't a drop dead giveaway, I don't know what is. And, not, and also, that's not, <coughs> uh, you know, go around the fact that Halo Wars 2 is being released on PC as well. Which is just another huge, you know, huge piece of evidence in this little puzzle that we're creating. 
Um, and also at this point, Microsoft just can't keep re-releasing or remastering Halo games. They know that too. Especially with the whole 343 buggy and horrible MCC debacle. They know that they're going to have to, you know, they're going to have to broaden their horizons if they want to keep selling games. And where better to port a Halo game than PC? I mean, I want you to just think about this for a minute. Microsoft owns Windows, obviously. It's one of, it's the thing that built the company. And uh, they own all the Windows operating systems and platforms. So they wouldn't be losing any money because they won't have to pay other companies to be able to release games on their platforms. They could only gain more money and give Halo a larger fan base. 343 Industries would also gain, would also have benefits in this because they too would gain a larger fan base and they would earn some brownie points that they need so badly. I mean, I'm sorry, but no matter how wonderful Halo 5 is, it doesn't make up for the blatant murder and sweeping under the rug of my favorite childhood FPS games franchise. Yes, I'm still mad about MCC. So, I mean, that's just... That's really all of the evidence that's been going on within the past three years that kind of gives us an idea that Halo will be coming to PC. But there have also been hints dropped by members of Microsoft and other important people on social media. And I've taken the liberty of getting four of the uh, most, you know, suspicious, you could say, posts that the that Microsoft members have uh, posted on social media. And I'm going to show them to you here, and I'm going to actually uh, talk about them a little bit and kind of give you my two cents. So... The first one is uh, Stephen Williams, the guy who does Boogie2988 on YouTube. He's got a character named Francis. He's really funny. I used to love watching the videos. Anyways, he said, If Microsoft really wants to embrace PC gaming, start with porting with porting over the Master Chief Collection and go from there. Winky face. And Larry Herib, or whatever, it's Major Nelson. He said, Message received. So that kind of leads me to believe that Mr. Nelson, Mr. Major Nelson, and various other people at Microsoft receive this message and they have a plan, which is very good because if they want to make money, we can all assume what that plan is. All right, and here's the next one. This is Vipes saying that certain inf affinity is the rumors true about you working on P on a PC Halo 3. We know it's coming, but not the win. Feel free to plead the fifth. And certain affinity said we plead the fifth happy face. And now when people say we plead the fifth, it usually means that they don't want to admit to something that the latter already knows. So, you know, that kind of that kind of gets the, the gears in your head turning a little bit, doesn't it? Now, with this next one, it's kind of weird because you kind of have to read between the lines. But Microsoft posted, Halo fans, you're, gonna, you're going to want one of these. And it's a Microsoft mouse with a Halo skin on it. Now, think of it this way. Why would a Halo fan who would be playing Halo on the Xbox need a Halo mouse? You see, you kind of have to think about that one and read between the lines. It's kind of not as blatant, but, you know, you can kind of understand where I'm going with this. This last one, uh, we're going back to certain infinity on this last one. They say, we get a little crazy when we hit a project milestone, and it shows the dudes with a beer. All of them got a beer. They're drinking. And uh, Glenn Swift comments, uh, which game and which milestone? Beer at work, dream job. Certain infinity responds with, going to, going to have to pull out that pleading the fifth again. Not even the beer can get us talking. That is a reference to the other picture I showed you uh, when they were questioned about Halo 3 being ported to PC. Now, I mean, you can't really for sure say that, oh wow, that must be the same thing. But you can put two and two together if they pull out the same reference to a Halo 3 related question. That's just how I see it. You may see it differently, but that's how I see it. Now, you might be saying, this video has MCC in the title, but you haven't really directly mentioned MCC yet. You're kind of just talking about Halo in general. What the hell? And you're right. I believe the MCC would be a good starting point for Microsoft to release on Halo on PC, you know, to kind of get the ball rolling. And that's because the concept and what MCC is founded on might have been their greatest idea. I mean, just... For a moment, forget all of the bad launch and the 343i neglect and the poor updates and the poor servers and everything bad about it. And just look at MCC for what it is. It's a phenomenal idea. And I believe that a fully functional PC port with dedicated servers and all the glory that PC has to offer would boost their sales dramatically. I mean dramatically. It would also broaden Halo's fan base dramatically. And it would be a pretty good step to redeeming 343 Industries in my eyes. And it also probably repair and boost Halo's franchise as a whole. 
Of course, they could start with only porting Halo 3, but if they already have the layout, the blueprints, and the materials for MCC, why not go the extra mile and give PC and give the PC gamer fans what they want plus more? That's just my opinion. Feel free to agree or disagree, but if you agree, I highly encourage you to make your voice be heard and rally with all of us true hardcore Halo fans for a PC port. My name is Wellmuch Justin, and this has been my Halo PC release explanation. Uh, have a good day and a pleasant tomorrow, everyone. Choose. <laughs>